one pan chicken and rice. Let's get it. Okay, so look, I want you guys to come on in. Look, we're gonna be using chalau. Check out their seasoning right here. This right here is a garlic pepper seasoning. It's fire, folks. Hey, look, I want you guys to see the texture. You can see it's, man, it sprinkles just perfectly. Hey, everything about this is just fire. Listen, the uh, flavor profile on this is right. Now, I already said it's chicken and rice, right? So I'm gonna be using this southern, listen to this. This is a southern red rice. This right here, and listen, it's a seasoned rice, obviously. You know what I mean? Look, these are just one pan, you know, one pan meals, super easy. Now, they got some other products, you guys can see them right here. Look, those are for like future videos, and listen, they coming soon. Remember, my channel is all about showing you guys easy, great ways of, you know, like leveling up your kitchen. I promise you, use this, because listen, it shocked me. I'm used to getting down and seasoning things myself, but listen, this right here is such a great start. Sometimes you can save some time by just using their products. Now, I'm gonna show you the chicken. Chicken right here, look, this right here, I'm using breast. You guys can use chicken quarters, you can use uh, breast, whatever you would like to use. Now, over here, I'm gonna use a little oil right here because I'm gonna do my browning. And then right now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead, hit this. Let's go ahead and start with the medium heat because we wanna get this cast iron hot, right? So, remember, we, we start from the center, we got the flame, right? It's got to spread throughout this thick cast iron, you know what I mean, so that it can heat this, you know, so that it heat thoroughly. Now, if you look right here, look to the side of me, right? I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. Look, they got a lot of products. Listen, I didn't try probably 80% of them before I even told you guys, right? So look, if you go to the website, if you look up at the upper left-hand corner, if you're doing it on your phone, you see those little hamburger, them little three lines, click that. Go scroll down, you'll see recipes. Once the recipes come up, look, you'll see some tiles. This is where it get cool, folks. That's what I like, somebody that takes the time to show you and give you examples too, and they're getting it down just like I do on my uh, on my channel, right? So, we are doing chicken and rice, right? So there you can just see right there, chicken and southern red rice. You go ahead and hit that towel right there. Look, there's a picture. It's got a little background on the talking. You know what I mean? They got a video, you got the ingredients, the preparations, the whole shebang. Hey, super easy and super simple. So I've already cleaned these, and you know, did a little trimming of the fat, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just put them out and lay them this way. You know why? Because what I want to do is, I want to go ahead and season them. I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of olive oil in here because look, I'm going to use that to help in the browning process. Now, again, I told you guys I'm going to be using this garlic, you know, pepper seasoning. Don't sleep, folks. This right here is fire. If you guys pick this up, I want you guys to let me know what, what else would you put this on because this screams chicken. But listen, you can see how you can just use this on a lot of different things right here. Flip it over. I'm looking at my cast iron, seeing where I'm at. I can feel the heat. We starting to build up a little heat, right? Real simple. Now don't forget, we're not cooking this. What we're doing is we're just getting it, you know, we want to put some, we want to brown it, cook the seasoning into the chicken, you know what I mean? It create a little bit of that crust. That right there is what makes it, right? So let me go ahead and check this. Just give it about, maybe about one more minute. And then we're going to go ahead, for me, I'm going to go ahead and start with the top side down. My pan is right, we season right. Remember, I told you, I start on, you know, the top side. I start with that first. I can tell you the aromatic that kicks up off of this right here is fire. Look at that chicken right there, folks, and tell me you can't see that that's seasoned properly. <laughs> that right there, listen, you gotta try it. Now, let me just say this part. Listen, now would be a good time for you to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You know what, you wanna have that ready once we flip this over. Now, I treat everything that I put into a cast iron skillet like I do a steak, right? We don't move it around or nothing like that. It will let me know when it's ready to be flipped because once it's you know, got a good, you know, uh, fry, sear, whatever you wanna say, you know, whatever verbiage that you use, it releases itself. So when I grab it, I'll take it, I'll just take this center one right here. I don't have no resistance. I can look at the bottom right here, and you see that brown, and now it's up to me how much further I want to go. I'll let it go just a little further, but they can be flipped right now. Don't forget, we don't want to cook it. We just want to get a little, you know, a little flavor on there. Leave a little bit in this right here, because when you leave that in the bottom, we all know what that is. Let me know down in the comment section below what is that that sticks to the bottom of the pan. Let me know what that is, folks. Let me see how many of y'all that know what we're doing. Then we just flip it over. We're going to do the same thing with that. We're going to take it out. I'm not gonna over talk it, I'm gonna show it to you step by step. You can see it slides, we just flip it over, and that's what I'm looking for, that right there. Now that's up to you guys, again, if you wanna get it a little bit, 
you know, a little bit more crispier. But you see that right there? Ooh wee, folks. Now you're cooking with fire. Look at that right there. You like that color, folks? Hmm. Almost don't even want to put it down on nothing like that. Let's look at this one right here. Ah, yeah. This is, I ain't gonna lie to you. If you guys can look at this right here, it was a piece of chicken that was right there. I had to go ahead and hit it because I know what it tastes like. Now, I left the heat on. A lot of times I take my heat off and underneath it, but it's a reason why I'm gonna leave it on. I got it. Look like it's burning on the bottom, but it's not. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. Let's check this part out right here. Now, on his website, in his instructions, he say, go ahead and use four cups of water. But if you guys been following me for a minute, we looking for that little bit of extra flavor, we gonna go ahead and level it up, and we gonna use this chicken broth. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get this going. Look, I got four cups, right? I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in the bottom. This is why I kept it hot. Cause look, we wanna get this up to a rolling boil, all right? So we'll let that heat, we'll let it do its thing. And then once I see it start to boil, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my square edge under the bottom. Check it out, folks. I'm showing you guys how to build flavor. You know what I mean? Just for those who don't know, you know what I mean? Hey, if you've been following me for a minute, listen, we gonna all level ourselves up and become real. Hey, I'm gonna say it. Hey, we gonna become real chefs. Okay, so look, this is what you can see right now. You could, obviously, it's starting to boil, right? So look, I take my square edge and I just start running this around the bottom, right? Because we want to get all of the what? I'm going to be reading them comments, folks. You guys tell me what this is. But we want to get all of that off of the bottle. And I can tell you, if you got your pan seasoned right, it ain't going to be not a whole lot of sticking. And as you can see, it's really like gliding across, right? You don't see nothing caked up on here. But this right here is what you want to do. Do this back and forth. Now, I done made several videos, you know, about, you know, keeping up with your cast iron. I'll go ahead and come back to that. You know what I mean? I'll make a couple of more of those. I'm getting better at explaining. But right now, this is what we're doing. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the rice in, right? So look, we just wanna use two cups, you know? I'm just pouring it in like this. I could just put it in there. If I just measure them, we still got a little boil going because I turned it down, right? Now, all I'm gonna do is add this here, just like that. Make sure everything gets, you know, inside of the broth. You know what I mean? Absorb some of that fine. You just wanna work it in just like you see it, just like this, right? Real simple. Okay, so look, one of the things I should have said is that, listen, I taste and then, you know, and decide if I want to, you know, level up my chicken stock or chicken broth, whatever you guys are using, you know, if you need to add salt, pepper, or anything like that. But since I used the chicken stock, hey, hands down, it was just, just right. We still got that going. I'm getting ready to turn the fire off. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add these in here just like you see. I know you guys can see it coming together. Hey, I love it when it's super simple like this, super easy. When I tell you big on flavor, listen, you're gonna have to get yourself some. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my oven. I'm already preheated for 350 degrees, right? We're gonna put it in the oven for 40 minutes, and guess what, folks? We're gonna cover it. I'm gonna cover it. I do have a lid, but I like the fact that when you cover it, it's not such, so tight, right? So it allows a little steam that you kind of like evaporate out. But don't forget, we want that. We want the moisture of the chicken stock to like kind of like just evaporate. But then again, we still want it to soak in, you know, to the rice. Okay, so look, I want you guys to take a look at this right here. Oh my goodness. Look at that right there. If that don't say fire, I don't know what does. It's so moist. Look at that right here. Oh my goodness. You want to talk about a one pan meal that works? Wait till you see the reaction. Look at that right there. Wait till you see my reaction once I put it on, you know, put it, you know, get a taste of it. And I got to say this too, as much as I would like to take credit for, you know, you know, whipping something like this up, this right here is what I'm talking about, folks. Okay, so you guys can see right now, take a look at this right here. Hey, chicken was done right, but you know what? It's really about, look, it's so moist. Look, I got ready to cut it. Look, you really don't have to do that. You could just do it once it's cooked right in that bed of rice. Now, it's really about chalau and they, you know, they seasoning, right? Having everything pre-done. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it like that. You guys can see a little bit of that steam. Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I'm finna adjust my hat and guess what, folks? Cheers. Oh, ho, ho. 
Got to go in again. One second. Mm. Hey, you know, I know everybody be looking at my facial expressions and all of that. I can tell you right here, this is fire. I got to let you guys know, hey, look, sincerely, I get so much mail, you know what I mean? Get a lot of email. You know, people ask me to try products. Can I talk about them? Can I do this? They want to pay, do all of that, right? Listen, there's not a lot of things. If you've been following me, you know, on my channel, you see I don't endorse a whole lot of products. Listen, I got to be in love with it for me to talk about it. Hey, this right here, I'm in love with it, folks. Now listen, if you guys look, you can see right underneath me, look, there's a link, it's on the screen. It'll be down in the description box and it'll be probably pinned in the number one comment. You guys gotta check it out. Look, they got a welcome kit. Look, do yourself, do your family, yourself, whether you're a bachelor or a bachelorette, whatever it is, do everybody a favor. And you know what, just try it. I promise me, I promise you, you'll come back here and you'll tell me, AB, thanks for exposing me to Chalau. Hey, super good, super simple, quick, pop in the oven, come out and this is fire, pre-season just right. Now that's hard for me to say out loud, but listen, this is done right. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and bringing some real exposure to some real good pro products out here, right? And with that being said, check it out, I'm out, peace.